Welcome to the channel. I had to go down to the, my local Bass Pro Shops where I actually work and pick something up today. While I was there, I couldn't help but look around, which I don't have time to do usually while I'm working. I happened to go to the camping section and see a real cool looking overlanding table. And I think it's going to make an excellent addition to my overlanding gear that I carry in my X-Venture XV3 trailer. It's going to replace a table that was working okay, but I think this one's going to be a lot better. I figured this might be worth sharing with all you guys that are interested. Stick around with me while I unbox it and let's take a look at it together. And just for the record, I do work at Bass Pro. They're not paying me to make this video. They didn't give me this. I got a small discount on this because I am an employee of Bass Pro. I'm doing it on my own. I like to share. I wouldn't say one of their products is good unless it actually is. Uh, I don't have to do that. It is a good store. I like to share interesting gear I find and helpful gear, and I like working there. Okay, enough said about that. This isn't gonna be a review of this table. I'm just gonna unbox it, take a look at it, and seeing if it's worthy of taking on an overlanding trip in my Xventure XV3. What it says in the box looks like it's gonna be pretty awesome. Let's unbox this thing, take it out, and get a look at this little table. So this table is called a Trifold Compact Carry Camp Table. And you might be a little confused because it says Cabela's on it, and I bought it at Bass Pro Shop. Cabela's is owned by Bass Pro. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people do know that, but now, any of you guys watching know that. Before I get to unboxing this Cabela's Trifold Compact Carry Camp Table, that's a mouthful right there, but before I do that, I'll show you the table that this table is going to be replacing. This has been the table that I've been using. You've seen these tables, they're pretty standard. Um, you'll see them at picnics, at offices. Uh, it's a good table to put a printer on in an office. Um, it was sitting around my garage and it became part of my overlanding gear for the last year and a half or longer, uh, probably ever since I got my X-Venture X-V3 trailer. It's worked out good. It's been surprisingly strong. It has really helped out. Um, if I needed another table, in addition to my, this new one that I have, I may put this one back in, in, the, uh, in the rotation. But um, for now, it's just gonna be getting stored like a lot of my other extra camping gear is in the garage here and not being taken along right away but if I had to I wouldn't have any problem using this again it's a good strong little table way stronger than it needs to be for probably what it's normally used for the other table that I've used and this one may come along again this has been a good little table too um, setup's a little more tedious, it's small, compact, I'm sure you guys have seen these, it, um, once you get it out of the bag, it's one of these fold up tables, I think I got this one from eBay, I'm not going to put the whole thing together for you, but you know, you've probably seen these before, they're the legs. Um, Nothing wrong with these, either. They're good for, for what they're good for. Now let me go ahead with what I've been anxious to do, and that is, I had this, picked this up a few hours ago, and I've been real anxious to get in there and look at it. It says it is a trifold compact carry table. It has some statistics here. It says it's 26, or 27.6 inches high by 47.2 inches wide by 23.66 inches deep, and it'll carry 100 pounds. It says the weight of it's 22 pounds. Um, I don't know if that's the weight when it's inside the box. I'm gonna take it out and I'm actually gonna weigh it, see how much it actually weighs. I'm not gonna be packing this around. This is gonna be inside my trailer. So I'm not too concerned with how much it weighs, but it might be something interesting. Let's go ahead and take this out of the box here. Figure out what the best way. Oh wow, first thing I'm seeing, and I didn't realize this, but apparently this table has a bag, and that's awesome. Nice surprise already. 
There we go. This little trifold table comes with a bag. It doesn't really say anything about a bag that I can see. Nice surprise. Not, that's a good looking little bag. They don't make you buy that separately. The other thing I like about, I bought a bunch of stuff from Cabela. Now they put some beautiful pictures on their gear, on their camping boxes and stuff. That's a real nice picture. It doesn't have anything to do with the table. Just something I normally see. Pleasant to the eye. Let's go ahead and take a look at this bag. Um, nice strap. Easily adjustable if I want to carry this. My campsites, sometimes my campsites a uh, little bit of ways from my trailer. Sometimes I gotta pack some stuff around. Um, here, no problem. Nice strap and it's a real solid looking bag. And one thing I've noticed about gear that I get from Cabela's or Bass Pro is it goes back in the actual bag that they sold it to you in which is pretty amazing because I don't know if you've ever bought anything and it comes in a bag and you cannot possibly ever get it back into the bag that it came in. Um, that's happened to me. Maybe it's happened to you also. So I unzipped it here. I got it packed up real nice. This foam's gonna protect it all the way to your house, all the way to the store. Um, getting unloaded from the truck. Always a danger to any products that come to the store when they come off the truck. Put the foam, put the cardboard on either side of it to keep it even more protected. Um, awesome. There's the bag. It's a relatively thick, uh, Kind of a nylon, um, probably pretty strong. I would imagine it's pretty strong. It says Cabela's on it. Now let's get a look at the actual table here. Got a little more foam inside there. It's got a handle on top here, additional handle, to carry it with. Um, let's see exactly how this thing opens. Let's see, that I have to figure out, because like I said, this is the first time I'm seeing this table too. Okay, okay, I'm seeing it now. You can see there's a small latch here. One on either side. Let those latches go, and should be able to get this thing open. I've got it unlatched. Tri-fold, some more foam to protect it. Okay, here's an excellent, um, it opens wide like that. Looks like it's pretty ruggedly built. A lot of metal here. I'm not sure what this material is here. I guess I could uh, look at some instructions if I had to. That's going to go like that. And let me stop for a minute here. These come stored right in the table, clipped right in. There's a little bit of assembly on this thing, not much. Click that side in, click that side in. You see, it's one of these little spring clips. Let me put that up to the camera. That's going to give that leg a little friction. I don't, I don't see anywhere where, where this actually pops out and locks. That just gives you a little friction. This table actually has some latches. Get a good view of this latch here latches like that. There's four of those. The other going to prevent that table from collapsing on you. Uh, I like it so far. 100 pounds on a folding table. See this table sitting on the ground. Okay, it feels good and strong. It's got a nice, nice wide base. It's nice and wide this way. The legs are nice and wide. I like the legs because 
you look at these legs, you see they're out on an angle. A lot more stability. They're out on an angle. They have this outrigger stiffener that helps hold them up too. I'm really happy with this thing. If you look underneath, you see some nice solid metal. It's got to be 20, 18 gauge uh, X straps here. You know how strong triangles are. There's a lot of triangles built into this, this table here. Like I said, the test is going to be taking it out in the field, but I'm going to give it a little test right now. If you guys are getting anything out of my videos, please consider liking, subscribing, and leaving a comment. It really helps the channel. And if you're just watching, I appreciate that too. Appreciate you coming along watching. Thank you very much for that. But it would be great to have you as a subscriber. So this is my Orca cooler. I use a cooler, I don't use a fridge. Thought was getting this table was, this is gonna be for holding my cooler. Um, it's kind of a pain in the butt when the cooler's on the ground. Uh, I like to get it up and off the ground when I'm at my campsite. And that's kind of what I was thinking when I saw saw this table today and I saw 100 pounds. You know what, 100 pounds, that's that's gonna help with my cooler. Uh, the other table, a little too narrow in a strong wind, could have easily blown that over with the cooler and that's just a mess. You don't want your cooler falling over. It takes enough of abuse in the back of the trailer getting bumped around on off-road. No sense in uh, abusing it when it's at the campsite. I use a cooler, I don't use a fridge. That's a subject I've been meaning to make a whole other video on. Why do I use a cooler instead of a fridge? That'll be another video and I'll make that one later. But for right now, um, it's kind of what I'm planning on doing with this table. This folds up small enough and looks pretty small enough in the back of my trailer. Um, I could end up getting another one. Let's see how this one works out. Okay, one more thing to do before I put this table away and finish this video. I'm gonna weigh this thing. Let's see how much it actually weighs. It said 22 pounds on the box. See how that stacks up compared to it's being out of the box and just in the bag. Pretty dang close. Little suitcase scale. Let's call it 21 and a half. A concern about weight. Now you well, that's about all I have on the little fold up table for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. And don't forget, the best is yet to come.